He doesn't operate in this physical world. We operate in this physical world. But the devil, he knows that if he could get you caught up in this physical world, then you're going to be deceived. That's the point I'm making. Because I don't have time to go into some doctrine like that. But the devil, the God of this world, his job is to blind the eyes of men that believe not. Lest the light of the glorious gospel should shine unto them. See, the whole, this whole universe that we live in today, folks, if you're living in the Spirit of God, then we're not subject to this. We're subject in the flesh, but we're not subject in the Spirit. And except you repent, you're going to perish. Just like this man right here. He thinks because he puts up his radio somehow that he's going to be clear in the day of judgment but what's going to really happen it's going to be a judgment against him in that day so i just want to thank you today sir i want to thank you for putting up your stereo because as i'm preaching the word it does not make void you hearing the word of god today and that jesus christ shed his own blood for your sins the lord jesus christ shed and you see, folks, we're not subject. I'm not subject to that man-made amplifier. God could take my voice without this amplifier and project it all the way down a mile away if he wants to. But you know what, folks? Like I said earlier, we really don't care what you think. And when somebody comes by and they put up their stereo, all that does is pleads our cause even more today because you think, Oh, you're hindering our cause. No, that's the very reason we're here, to make you subject unto the Holy One of Israel, the Son of God, the Son of Man, Jesus Christ, the Holy One, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And He came to shed His own blood for your sins. He came to shed His blood for you. And if you choose not to hear it, the judgment's going to be on you, not us. When we leave here, we shake the dust off our feet, just like God yeah. said. And then your blood of your soul is not on our hands. If you choose not to hear, it's your judgment. It's your choice. But God is not willing that any perish but that all come to repentance. He is not slack concerning His promise. That means, not only did God promise life, He promised to His enemies that there is no place found for them. No place found for them. There's going to be a lot of homeless. You know, folks, when this is all said and done, we may be homeless. But we will have a home in heaven. There is coming a day. I can't remember the words, but I love that song. Someday, every eye is going to see Him. Every eye is going to behold Him. And right now, it's only by His mercy. It's only by His grace. It's only by His mercy and His grace that He hasn't cast you into hell yet. That's all, folks. It's His mercy that He hasn't ended all this. But one day, our faith will be sight. That's a part of the... One day, our faith will be sight. See, we can't... We believe by faith. That's how God says every man's got to come to God, by faith. For by grace are you saved through faith. That means it is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And without faith, it is impossible to please God. You have to have faith to believe in something that you have never seen. You have to believe His Word. You have to believe His Word. He is the Word. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. Jesus Christ. Yep, your devil horns. It's okay, you just, like I said, the guy with his motorcycle, the guy uh, 
throwing his devil horns. You're on the losing team today because we already know, like here I'm talking about faith. Here I'm talking about faith in the Word of God and we already know where Satan and his angels are going to be. It's your blood that's going to be upon you because you rejected, you rejected the kingdom of God. See folks, we're just going to keep being faithful to come out it really, you know, even though we're here preaching the cars, you hear, you say things out the window, you see the signs. But when it's all said and done, folks, that's just where God wants us today. He shut down your arenas. He shut down your theaters. There's nothing we should be all upset about. You're upset about it because we've been in front of those venues for years warning you even the, some of the police officers laugh at us when we're at these places. And now, who's laughing? Who's laughing? Virtual. Virtual this. Virtual that. But one day there's going to be a reality when you stand before God. It's not going to be virtual. You're going to stand before the living God and you're going to give an account to the living God and you're going to see Him face to face like Moses did. And you say, oh, well, no man has ever seen God at any time. You're right, Jehovah Witness. Nobody has. He came in the cloud by day and a fire by night. And what separated him from Moses, he spake to him out of the cloud. And when he showed himself to Moses, he showed him his hinder parts. Because no man's going to see God and live. But just think about it. You don't know God now. Wait till you see him going to die in your sin. If you believe not that I am He, you're going to die in your sin. And God is not willing that any perish. God not willing that any perish, but all come to repentance. The will of God for all men and everywhere is that they will repent. They will believe the Gospel. But you have to have faith. The faith... See, there's another one. See, our... our I'm telling you folks, our purpose is being fulfilled. Our purpose is being fulfilled because we are a witness for God Almighty. We are a witness and a testimony that He is and He is to come and there is none else and there's none beside Him. There's no other God. He's the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. And all men are going to stand before Him. And you could either humble yourself and believe on Him and repent and be saved and have eternal life or you can reject him and spend an eternity eternity at the hell with your father the devil there's some that will believe and there's some that won't folks and what we do here today doesn't determine that what you believe determines that the only thing that determines what me and my friend are doing today is that our works are not hay wood and stubble and that one day our works are going to go through the fire, gold, silver, and brass, and abide the fire. And those things that abide not the fire, he's not talking about salvation. He's talking about the reward of the believer. That means, and even the Word of God says that the, there's going to be some just saved by fire. They're not going to have any reward. But those people, and what we're doing, folks, I hope our nation, I hope that our city, I hope our town repents and believes on the Lord Jesus Christ because there is none else, there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. It's not even an option today. God said that He commended His love toward us and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. That's it. That's going to be the only most important factor in your whole life. No matter what you do with your life, the most important factor in your life is going to be if you were right with God and you believed on the Lord Jesus Christ, His Son. Because it's only His shed blood on the cross. It's only His shed blood on the cross that men can be saved. He's not willing that any perish. See, that's why... I don't care what race you are today, what nation. That's why our country, I don't think it's great like it used to be, or I don't know, I don't even want to say that. It never was great. 
And that's not saying that I don't love my country. It's because the men, like the sports figures and the different figures, they just have not recognized how good they've had it here. Every nation, every tongue, every, even people that came here illegally had it good. And this is the only nation that has had mercy on all people. And this is where God chose the gospel to be propagated by in these last days. And you know what? America, the United States of America today needs, needs uh, missionaries. But God is not willing that any perish but all come to repentance, believe the gospel, the kingdom of God is at hand.